Grandfather don't give me five stars, say pretty for again tongue. I don't know why that work like King Kong, I say again Kong. I need to talk Palava Wala when you're only punching a junk. Me, Palava and Wala, I need to stay for punching gong. Confirm. Hey, what's up? My name is Nabil Fungard, aka Nabil for real, aka Napster. And you're watching The Vibe on Kenyaka TV. Lego! I will define strong ways, I scare you, we know that. I just climb all ways, so I know the look back. I just shine seven days, not different coops, same spark. But this fine always, I hit the boot, new track. Nabil is a media personality, a musician, an actor, started movie production, and um, I'm just a hip hop activist. I'm an entertainer, you know. I'm just that hustler in the, t t in the entertainment industry, and anything that's possible, I jump on it and do it. As long as there's small could it, you feel me? I, I think I chose hip hop, I think hip hop chose me. I think like basically I just grew up on a, in, in an era where hip hop was the music for the urban music. So I think I adapted hip hop because I grew up with that traditional Kamiya music in the house and I wanted to get something that could blend with what I grew up with and what I was actually interested in based on my generation. My coming back home actually was inspired by my leaving. So it, it starts from there. I've worked with basically the major African artists from Davido to Ice Prince to Nyanya to a bunch of others. And not only did I work with them, but actually, um, I actually organized the first Davido European tour. It was Third World Survivors who did it. We brought Davido to Europe for his first European tour. And um, we did Ice Prince tour. We did a couple of tours and a couple of things and events and media and music. And all those experiences that I, that I, I learned my idea of leaving was to go gather that experience and come back. So as soon as I got those experiences, I had to come back. I'm not on anybody's lane. I'm not trying to be the best in anything. I just want to be relevant and productive and helpful to the growth of the industry. Um, living out for a long time, I realized that most of the images that we have of Africa on the internet or online, about 70% of those images are negative images. And I was thinking about the reality of those images because the images are not just photoshopped they actually come from somewhere so if you actually see for instance an old woman in her 70s with a big bunch of of, of firewood leaving the the mark the farm and going home in the night you feel like she's been suffering the whole day but that very woman is not suffering it's just her lifestyle if you keep her in the house you will not even want to stay in the house when you see a kid running around barefooted um, dusty feet and enjoying his childhood it looks like he's suffering and stuff but he has a better childhood than most people out there. So I decided like um, we could come up with the representation of Africa for what it is, but change the perspective of which people see it. We started with a song, it moved to a movie. Um, there is a televised radio show coming up for it. And then we also been shooting a documentary um, for TIA, which basically just go out there and discover things that are unique and peculiar to Africa and you can only find in Africa. I think I have gotten the response that I expected. I was able to get Ancestor to direct the movie. I was able to get um, Cindy and Made. I was able to get Epule Jeffrey. I was able to get Anorin. And I was able to get Salatel, Askia, Pimp Boys. Like, I was able to get a lot of actors and musicians on the same team. So basically, as far as production is concerned, um, I think, I think I, I, the response is just great. Uh, I'm going to answer this question like this. I get my energy from God. My energy does not finish. Energizer has not started. Anytime you touch me, I'm ready to go. I'm like solar material. If the sun hits on me, I recharge. You want to try me, holler at your butt. I think that the main issue is, is about the entrepreneurial spirit because a lot of people here have um, an artistic mind but don't have a business mind. It's called show business. So after the show, make sure you got the business going on. So after I jump up and down around here, I'm gonna sit down with a wise man like Ancestor and he's gonna tell me how we can make money off my jumping up and down. You know what I mean? Some people don't actually do that. But um, right now, today, in the last five years, a lot of things have changed and I think a lot of artists are still living off the art.
first of all, sponsors, man, you guys are doing a very poor job. I'm just totally going to tell you guys that straight up right now. Every year I hear there's a talent show, there's a talent show, there's a talent show, there's a talent show. Five years after the talent show, you don't see any of the winners doing anything. And the reason why that happens is because the people who organize these shows are very concentrated, are very much involved in the money three part of the process. So you take all that money to organize the shows, you want to limit the way you spend it so you can put some in your pocket. And then all you're interested in is all that glamour of doing a show, but you're not really interested in talent. Like, how can you have a talent show that is so glamorous is on telev to television and then at the end of the day, one year after, the winner has nothing to show for it. I can give you examples from years ago, like from Sydney who won African Star, like the album never came out. We're talking 10 years after that. There is a billboard in Cameroon that has a lot of artists on it. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a beer company. These people put big billboards with a lot of artists very big in the air, and then they actually take the artist's name, bend it, and, and, and blur it. And I've been checking out those billboards for about three months, and it took me three months to see the name of the artist on the billboard. What was that? What was that for? What was, what was that nonsense? I, if I, I would not do anything like that, because that's few nonsense. They don't want these guys to shine. You guys have to start respecting artists. You guys have to start giving them money. And, you make, and that's how the industry is built. For instance, Whiskey comes to Cameroon. You go to his hotel in the morning as an artist or as an entertainer to go exchange with him and get to know him. And so when he comes to Cameroon, at least he can live with something. And you know, there can be some exchange of, 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 of cultures and, and work together. But when you go there in the morning, you meet all the cards of the companies that are sponsoring with their cousins and their children, old men with big stomach and gray hair and all kind of people who have nothing to do with Whiskey, who will not profit anything from him apart from take a picture. And what do they do? They block artists, they block producers, they block people in the industry who are supposed to actually socialize with these artists and then exchange with these artists and then come out with something out from that. Like if Whiskey comes, come, there's no reason why you should go back without doing a future with an artist. That's what they are supposed to do. They're supposed to make sure that he can interact with his artists and, and exchange that, 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 that work and come up with something. But then he comes here, he does his show, they, they hide him away from everybody who's doing something. He goes back, what about what do you know about Cameroon? Ah, I saw one big stomach man speaking French in a language I don't understand. That's all he has to say about this. You guys have to stop that nonsense. And, and the reality is, Things are changing. We're coming back home now. We come with projects and we come with means also. We do not need you guys. You, when you guys are going to start chasing us, Baba. You shall know I'm talking. So, and another point is like sometimes you bring an artist, an artist from out, a big billboard with that artist's face on it, and our Cameroonian local artists are just somewhere around in the middle. How can you make a king out of stuff like that? Like he's, he's a king in his country. He's proven to be a king where he is. And you bring somebody else to kill all of that, that doesn't make any sense as far as I'm concerned. So I think that, I think that people should start, these companies especially, start valuing artists. Like, don't, don't call artists like you don't need them, let them just come over there and decorate. Like, if you really need them, give them what they deserve and make sure that you give them the proper exposure that they also deserve. Because you're killing the artists, like you guys are really killing the artists. That's some really terrible doctrine that I think has to stop. I think it's a very bright future. First of all, talent is crazy out here. Like we have a lot of talent. Like talent is no more even um, there's no more an assurance to success. Actually, talent is just a prerequisite to success. I mean, say there, I say you pass first school. You know, I mean, say you enter, I say you go pass. So I say entrance examination, you understand? So everybody out there has talent. Right now, people just need to get their minds together, put their business strategies together, have good concepts, and know how to sell themselves. That's the position in which we have to be right now. <coughs> so I think that the Cameroonian entertainment industry needs a couple of things that are going to push it to this level in which we want to be. And one of those things is Kinyaka TV, Kinyaka blog, Kinyaka dot com. Big shout out to Kenyaka, Kiki for everything that you're doing. Really appreciate it. Even when you're talking bad about me, I still love it. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't hold it down and we are here to support you 100%. 247, 365 round the clock. You have TIA, Terror Survivors, Nabil Support and my whole family. Shout out to Kenyaka Blood. I like them, man. Tell them what time. You, know, you guys, you, you guys keep, keep, keep watching Kenyaka TV. Yeah. The TV, yeah. So if you want that, she's doing actually the best thing ever what we, we need we need kinaka we need somebody like you like 
20 of you to make uh, the camera industry look more bigger, bigger and bigger than everything else. So you heard it now, as a family, that's what we know. Kenyaka, one yeah, time. Keep, 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 oh, so keep doing your thinking.